Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to this channel Engineer Ruhul Amin. We are to talk about a critical situation in Gaza where temporary truce seems fragile and there are signs that things might escalate. Reports suggest that the four-day truce in Gaza is set to expire soon. And signs indicate that the Israel is gearing up for a potential resumption of its air and ground offensive. The truce described by the Israel Defense Forces as an operational pass is contingent upon the transfer of 50 hostages held by Hamas. The agreement allows for an extension by a day for every 10 hostages released by the Hamas. Miri Eason, a former Israel military intelligence specialist, express skepticism about the truce. She highlighted that the Israel Defense Forces objective of dismantling Hamas military capability using ground invasion. Israel Defense Forces Chief of the General Staff, Harzi Halivi, addressed Israel soldiers expressing determination to achieve the objectives of the war, including the return of hostages. Since the invasion, Israeli brutal attacks have taken lives of thousands of innocent Palestinians. While Israel estimates that it has killed between 1,000 and 2,000 Hamas fighters, the human cost on the Palestinian side is staggering, with at least 14,800 innocent Palestinians martyred, mostly civilians, tens of thousands more are wounded, and crucial public facilities, including hospitals and schools, have been destroyed. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who have taken the lives of innocent civilians, is saying to eliminate Hamas, but the group remains operational. The destruction in the northern Gaza is extensive, turning areas into urban wastelands. The Israeli Defense Forces' next target is the southern region, particularly Khan Yunus, where Israel claims Hamas headquarters and leader Yahya Sinwar are located. The decision to relaunch the war rests with Israel's war cabinet. Netanyahu has indicated that the war will continue after the release of the 50 hostages. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan mentioned a constructive conversation with Israel urging military action to account for civilians, however concern persists about the impact on the civilian population. H. A. Hellier, a Middle East expert, emphasized the difficulty of completely eliminating Hamas and raised concerns about the humanitarian cost, citing the already horrific levels of civilian casualties. As tensions escalate, the situation remains fluid. We shall keep a close eye on developments if you appreciate updates on critical global issues like this. Give the video a thumb up, share it and subscribe. Thanks for joining me on Engineer Hulameen and I shall keep you posted in our next video.